Princess Louise was born in 1848, which is the year of revolutions. The year when Europe was literally aflame. And Queen Victoria always made this link that Princess Louise comes into the world in the year of revolutions and becomes a tricky little character, somebody who's going to rebel. So Louise has been told from the start that she's going to be tricky, she's going to be rebellious. And lo and behold, that's exactly what she does. Throughout Louise's childhood, her mother was writing to other people or telling other people that Louise was difficult, naughty. She actually talked about her as if she had mental health problems. On her 12th birthday, Victoria declared that Louise had the mental age of a six-year-old. Louise was actually an intelligent girl, and as she entered her teens, easily the prettiest of Victoria's daughters. But that didn't stop her mother constantly criticising her. She never talked about her kindly. She was always the naughty one, the difficult one, the one who was making trouble. And from that, I suppose, Louise felt herself to be the difficult middle child. Louise did not get on with her little sister, Beatrice. Princess Beatrice had been, since her birth, the spoilt, petted baby of the family. Until Princess Beatrice came along, Louise had one important factor in the family. She was the youngest daughter. After Princess Beatrice was born, she had nothing important. And she was used to being ignored, to be told off. And this really just made her adolescence extremely difficult. By the time her father died, Louise was 13. She was very slim, very attractive, stylish, feisty. The years that followed should have been a time of balls, beautiful dresses and potential suitors. But not for Louise. All of those kind of things that should have been happening to her as a princess were denied to her. And she was constantly expected to be in full-time mourning for her father. She wasn't expected to enjoy anything. She is just at that age when she wants to have fun. But, for instance, she isn't allowed a coming-out ball, which is the prerogative of every upper-class girl. It's the ball you have when you're at 17 that signifies that you are... Um, well, actually, it signifies that you're sexually mature and av available on the marriage market. Queen Victoria appeared to dread her daughters growing up. She refused to open the ballroom at Buckingham Palace, which had been closed since Albert's death. Over the next few years, her desire to restrict the lives of her children would become an obsession, and Bertie was about to discover the extreme lengths she'd go to to keep control. 